the interesting company in focus right now. We have Epsol Energy Systems. In fact, we have the management. Uh, Sohan Lal Agarwal, the managing director of the company, joining us. Hello and welcome to the show, Mr. Agarwal. Uh, let me... Thank you very much. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. To you. Good afternoon Thank to you, you as well. Oh, well, let me start off this conversation by just bringing up the FY25 performance. You know, we are looking, um, capacity expansion has been the part that we are seeing and that's reflected from the first quarter and even the FY25 figures. So just want to get your overall perspective in terms of what has happened so far. What's the kind of outlook that you have in terms of some major capacity additions taking place? So I just give a brief background of the company. It's just in small two lines, but this is one of the oldest company in the country started operations in 93, 94, having a 30 years experience of now, seeing all the transition of the uh, technologies and the ups and downs of this industry. So now the company is on an expansion plan of a structured expansion plan to strengthen its position as a leading integrated solar cell and model manufacturers in India. Our expansion project now is planned for a 4 gigawatt of advanced technological solar cell and model line to uh, setting up advanced cell DC, which will increase our total capacity to approximately 5.2 gigawatt upon full expansion of 4 gigawatt and being operational. Um, so the project, yes, tell me. Yeah, Mr. Agarwal, sorry to interrupt, it's Puneet this side. Uh, I just want to, you know, just get your perspective. So you have your current module capacity uh, is at 550 megawatts uh, and your current yes. cell capacity is 1.2 gigawatts. Is that correct? Yes, it's absolutely correct. So the first expansion is 4 gigawatts. Then once it is operational, the total capacity will become 5.2 gigawatts. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, with, with this new 600 megawatt solar cell line, uh, you know, which is coming in West Bengal, how quickly do you think you can start to ramp up the utilization levels for this one? We have already started the commercial production and I think it will take another two weeks for us to achieve the 90-95% of the capacity. So, Mr. Agarwal, yeah, please continue. So, we, we can achieve the production capacity of 90%, ramp it up, because the last 30 years we are in this plan, so we have the capacity to increase as fast as possible. So we hope that by end of this month, we'll be able to operate at 90% capacity operation. So, the, second, the second phase. Okay. So what is the kind of uh, incremental revenues that you're seeing with this new capacities coming in place? Just want to get your overall perspective in terms of FI26 guidance and if you can help us with FI27 as well. The revenues will definitely become double almost because the first phase is also 600 megawatt. The second phase is also 600 megawatt. We've also started operating the model line also, which we have now achieved already 60% of this operation. Next quarter, we'll be able to give you a better uh, revenue, which we are expecting almost around 500 to 600 uh, crores. And what would be the margin profile be with that? Because if we look at the first quarter as well, you've clocked in about 47% of a margin. Uh, this is in comparison with about 39% that you had seen last year. So, we want to get the sustainable range also going forward. I think this particular entire in the margin is still sustainable at the moment because of the risk of the supply demand gap is there. Okay. But in time, it will definitely soften out and it will be smoother because of the new capacities coming in in the market. But I think that uh, Epsol is more specialized in the solar cell area. You will just find that our cell capacity is 1.2 and motor capacity is 5.5 only. So the cell has got a better position at the moment. Model line is also operating now. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, that was uh, precisely my next question. Uh, you know, we actually see all the listed players go first higher in terms of modules, uh, largely rely on importing the cells and then uh, increasing the solar cell capacity. You've actually gone the other way. What was the rationale yes, yes. of that? You are absolutely right because the heart of the industry of the model is the solar cell. The technology lies in the solar cell. Right. And Resto right. has been in this industry making solar cell last 30 years. So we have got a team and we are specialized in making solar cell. Achieving the 90% operations and the highest efficiency level at a faster pace. So I think that people just have to say technological barrier to learn it for a time like that's all. But model making is a little easier. So we have taken up the cell line 
first because the demand of the cell, if you look at it to the present, the gap between the cell and the module is a big gap. So the cell line is more important for us and we have gone for the cell line because of our expertise. Uh, you know, fair point, Mr. Agarwal, and, and that is, you know, looking at localizing a lot. Are you also uh, empaneled in uh, the ALM, uh, ALMM mm, framework? Definitely. 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 We okay. Have to, we have to be in ALMM to check to our product. Okay. And in just in terms of uh, one final question from my side, uh, you did about 500 to 600, 575 crores in terms of revenue in FY25. You will essentially double in FY26 given the capacity increases. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, and, and by and I think uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You are looking to add roughly four gigawatt of cell as well as four gigawatt of modules uh, yes. with, by FY28. Yes. Okay. So given given this you know steep target, could we expect that your revenue actually should go up almost four times from the FY25 FY25 level? So could we expect it to go somewhere yes. around two thousand crores? Not an exact quantification, but just in yes. terms of your uh, additions of capacity. Yeah, he says, in the addition of the capacity, the revenues will definitely be impacted by the price which will be softening in the near future. I think within a year or two years when the new capacity has come, then it will be impacting a bit on the revenues. But uh, overall, the margin will be maintained nicely comparing with the other industry. How about the CAPEX plans? How would that shape up? Do you already... Uh, the capacity expansion that you're making for, for say, let's say, FY28, um, are inter internal accruals sufficient for this or are you looking for fundraising we'll have, options? We'll have internal accruals and debt and equity, both with a combination of all the three. Okay. And uh, what's the kind of outlook that you're building in terms of whether debt is concerned? Currently, if you look at the debt number, that's around 89 crore. So for FY26, what's the kind of target figure that one should have in mind? We we don't have considered as at all until now, but... The second page will give us a, a, enough support for internal approval as well. And uh, we will raise some part of equity and the debt. We will try to minimize the debt as much as possible. Okay, well, thank you so much, Mr. Agarwal, for joining and sharing that outlook in terms of where web source energy systems are. Outlook is concerned, the interesting takeaway being that 100% is the kind of growth that you're seeing for FY26. And with more of these ramp-ups taking place beyond FY28, how the overall uh, financial shape-up for the company would be particularly interesting.